Greetings to one and all. Greetings. And welcome to another episode of the Two Cooking Cuties. <laughs> I am your lady, Lady Nay. And I am Andy. And so, listen, last time you guys were here, you were such great, great house guests that we decided to invite you back on in again. Welcome once again. Come on in, come on in. Today we're gonna bring you some traditionally Caribbean breakfast dishes. I'm gonna bring you some cornmeal porridge or cornmeal pap as it's known to me. Pap, pap. That's how my mother, <laughs> my mother <laughs> told it to me and my great grandmother who are from Barbados. It's pap, it's cornmeal pap or porridge. Other places know it as in East Africa, I think they call it ugali mm -hmm. and, and, and Puerto Ricans call it cremita de maiz mm -hmm. and Haitians, they call it my mule or we call, I, we call it la bouillie maille. Oh, okay. Yeah. And speaking of Haiti, we also have a traditional Haitian breakfast dish. That's right, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ze avec avanceau or avanceau avec ze. You can switch them any way you want. But it's basically... What's that for us English speakers? For you English speakers, <laughs> uh, those under the English uh, British rule. Um, <laughs> traditionally. <laughs> um, that, is, that translates in English to eggs and smoked red herring. Not to be confused with green eggs and ham. We're gonna take our cornmeal and we're gonna kind of soak it or put it in some room temperature water. Are we going to soak the cornmeal? Soak it good. Soak I'll put it, it good. Pour that in. All right, so I'll pour it very slowly because I don't want to overdo it. All right. And then you'll tell me when to stop. Pour. So what kind of consistency am I looking for? Like a slurry, like a, a watery slurry. Pour more. Pour more. More. Okay. More. So I'll say That's, maybe this is like yeah. half a cup and, and stir it good stir because it you want like a loose, good. Mm -hmm. a loose slurry. Make sure all of that formula is all on the side into the water. Okay. Okay. You guys catching this? A little bit more water. Good. In all right. More water. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. So in the pot of water that I have boiling beforehand, because you make what like a stock or like people would say uh, a seep the ingredients this is hard spice cinnamon i have in there also um this is nutmeg actually before you crack the shell off the nutmeg and this would be the nutmeg here and i have two bay leaves in there i need them in my cornmeal part you might not but i do i'm sorry i love the taste of bay leaves. so i have it boiling over there and it's making like to flavor the water so at this point you stir that good i'll pour a little bit more water in there i'll okay. put a little bit more just a little bit all right so let's say one more spoon. And you need a whisk. And I have my um, grater or uh, microplane, what they call it. This is my hand whisk. Because I'm gonna grate some more of this nutmeg and some more spice into our uh, cornmeal porridge. So we can bring it over. Okay, so now I'm bringing my soaking cornmeal over to my boiling pot. Um, I had the temperature turned down low. Um, but I'm gonna turn it off because this way you won't get any lumps. So I'm gonna pour in my soaking cornmeal. I have about a cup in here and I had it soaking in. I'd probably say about a cup of water. All right. So I'm gonna continue to stir this with a whisk. This way you ensure that you don't get lumps because I don't like lumpy cornmeal porridge. Some people don't mind. Oh, so, so we're gonna continue whisking. And let that cook on the stove on a low heat for a little while. Meanwhile, still whisking, we're going to add our whole milk. All right, and it's gonna start to thicken, so don't worry. It might be a little watery right now, but it's gonna start to thicken really soon. So I'm gonna put in my whole milk. That's about a cup of that whole milk, or three quarters of a cup. And 
and still stirring. Continue to stir on a medium to low heat. You have to control your heat. Keep stirring. It's already beginning to thicken. And we're gonna add some coconut milk. Now what I did here, my coconut milk here, I had it in cubes and that's because I don't use all of it. So you don't wanna waste your money. So I freeze it in an ice cube tray and then I pop it out when I need it. And that way you have coconut milk for when you wanna use it in your cooking. It's getting there. At this point, we can add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of condensed milk, but be careful with this. Because this is sweet and that is sweet. So we're gonna add maybe a half a cup of condensed milk or three quarters of a cup of condensed milk, All right? And we're stirring this and it's gonna get nice and thick. Here we go. That cornmeal is just cooking. And right here, I think I have about a cup of sugar, but I'm gonna use a half a cup. Yeah, see? Because I like my cornmeal sweet. And for those of you who have certain dietary restrictions, if you want to make this vegan, or the original Rastafarian way, because I think they're the original vegans, um, you can use soy milk, rice milk, um, any nut milk, like almond milk, cashew milk, you can make it yourself. You can omit the condensed milk. You can use um, coconut cream. You can use, continue to use the coconut milk and you can sweeten it with molasses or maple syrup instead of using the white sugar. And use the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the bay leaf as usual. Because those don't have any animal products. And that's nutmeg that I'm grating right here. When you get it, it looks like this and you crack the shell and it will look like this when it comes out. And you use your grater, and you grate it over. This is a cinnamon stick. I'm gonna grate some of that right over a pot. Watch your pot now, because it's kind of getting high and it's thickening. in. See that? Continue whisking. You have to watch this, you have to watch this, you have to whisk it. And you can grate it more cinnamon in there. That's good. Or you can use ground cinnamon. I use both. And I have some vanilla, or what people would call, well, this is beige in essence, but it's vanilla. You could use mixed essence, or mixed vanilla, or almond vanilla, or whatever. But you do need that in here. And it has thickened pretty nicely. We're gonna turn this down a little bit. For me, I'm gonna add a little bit more coconut milk. This extra coconut milk that I have here. Give it that real island flavor, I guess. And voila, Mandy. It smells so divine up in this kitchen. Because it is. Okay. <laughs> can you please pour it so we can get to taste it, please? So we're done with the cornmeal porridge, and that was easy. And so now I'm gonna pour it into a bowl, and I like to serve it piping hot. Piping hot? Yeah, this is, the. I like porridge where you have to blow every spoonful to like Oh, cook. man. <laughs> All right? That's how, I, that's how I believe porridge would, should be eaten. And now you can garnish it with a little bit of your cinnamon and your hard spice. Mm. Oh, and a 
few drops of coconut milk. That makes a nice swirl, like a nice color swirl. See that there? And mix it in. And delicious breakfast for you, your kids, your dad, your husband. <laughs> you know? So can I have a taste, please? Yes, you may. Let's get you a spoon. A fresh spoon. Okay, now that it's piping hot, you know, I don't know about all the piping and the blowing and everything. Yes, you know? it is. And you know, a lot of um, people don't know that there's a lot of good health benefits to Caribbean food. All right. This has in cinnamon, this has in bay leaf, it has in nutmeg, which I heard is good for halitosis. So you could bring some of this for your cold work. If you know, you know. I'm going to have fresh breath all day. Fresh breath, honey. Okay, let cinnamon me Cinnamon is this. good. Mm. It, it's good for your, um, your, your uh, heart health. Yes. And um, bay leaf for digestion. And sometimes my mother used to boil bay leaf tea if you had a uh, upset stomach and she didn't have ginger. So mm. it's good for nausea too. Okay. So just not only the smell makes everybody come down in a better, you know, continent, yeah. but the taste. Cause, Cause just this aroma right now just has me ready. So let's go. Shall let's, we? Yes, we shall. Mmm. Mm. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. And that's cause you took the whisk. And okay. make sure you didn't get the lumps. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the whole milk. And I taste the coconut milk in there mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm ready to have some more. That's one traditional Caribbean dish down. We'll see this lady Nay with our next one. What's that called? Ze avec 